Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I will be giving a tour of my J-Pole setup. So as you can see, I have the J-Pole fixated on this piece of metal. So what this is, is some, um, I believe it's a uh, one inch electrical conduit. And I would estimate it's probably like 10 feet or so. So I have it fixated to this wooden structure with all these plants. And then up there I have the antenna fixated on the uh, mast, I'll call it, with some hose clamps. And then of course they have the coax running down here where I could plug my radio in. So this is a 2 meter and 70 centimeter uh, J-pole, so of course I use it to operate those. So I'm going to go up and show you a closer look of this. Here I'll zoom in and give you a closer look. So you can see the coax comes up, but instead of directly going into the antenna, it goes through this loop. And the thing with J-poles is that you can't really just have coax going straight from the antenna to your radio. Uh, you have to have this uh, coil, and the coil has to be uh, four to six turns of five inch diameter. And so I did five turns of five inch diameter. Alternatively, if you can't turn your coax because it's too thick or you don't have enough length, I believe what you can do is you could put uh, three ferrite beads. Uh, if you're going to do that, I suggest you go double check that information because I don't quite know how that is. So you can see the hose clamps I have here. Uh, and I jammed some uh, twigs and sticks in there because the hose clamps couldn't clamp down enough. So I need to kind of put some filler material in there. So anyway, let's hook a radio up to this and demonstrate it. So here I have my BTEC UV50X2 uh, mobile transceiver. It does 2 meter, 70 centimeter. So perfect for this kind of setup. And I have it hooked in right here to my J-Pole. And so usually as a test to make sure I'm able to receive things, I like to tune to the local NOAA weather stations. So for me that would be channel 6. Evan, Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of... So I know my receive is working. So what I like about this radio is it has four VFOs. And so the first one I have... Uh, the NOAA channels and then the next few I have some of the local repeaters so here I will be attempting to make contact on my local repeater now there it isn't very busy during the day and there's not a lot of activity so I don't expect much of anything to happen now I would try something different but the problem with this is that my receive is very bad and I don't believe it's the antenna or the setup because I've tried this antenna with different bits of coax, different locations around my property, and the receive is just not very good. But from what I've heard from signal reports, I have good transmit. But since my local repeater is only three quarters of a mile away, I get perfect transmit and receive. So I'll be attempting to use that. So first I will just key it up, uh, kerchunking as they call it, just to see if I'm getting a response from the repeater. Alright, so that's the repeater, and that is its usual response. If uh, no one has transmitted in a while, it sends out its ID in Morse code. So anyway, without further ado, I suppose I should call out. Kilo, Foxtrot, Zero, Charlie, Charlie, India, monitoring. So that's the repeater. Now let's see if we get anything. Well, no surprise for this repeater, I didn't get anything. But I did get some things the other day, and I was getting very good signal. So anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you found it interesting, and this may give you ideas if you're looking to put up a J-Pole yourself. But I'll see you in the next video, so 73.